It goes so fast, it'll get you from Houston to Dallas in less than 90 minutes. The much talked about Texas bullet train is getting closer to reality with a 2017 groundbreaking in the works. Tonight, with help from our partners at NBC in Dallas, we're going to take you to Japan where the trains are built and have been running for decades. You're going to see how these trains work and hear from property owners here in Texas who want to slam the brakes on this plan. Its official name is the Tokaido Shinkansen. You may know it as the famous Japanese bullet train. This is the train we would get. This is the train that we would get. Sean McCabe is a Texan who's spending a lot of time in Japan these days. He's with Dallas-based Texas Central Partners, the group that wants to bring high-speed rail to Texas. Texas deserves the very best. The Texas train would be half as long as those in Japan and would carry 400 people. So how fast are we talking? That was 186 miles an hour, the exact speed you would travel between Houston and Dallas. Eventually, the Texas trains would run even faster, more than 200 miles an hour. But the Japanese are perhaps most proud of the train's safety record. In five decades, no passenger has ever died or been injured in a Japanese bullet train accident. Hundreds of thousands of Japanese ride high-speed rail every day. Tickets come via a kiosk, just like you would see in big city U.S. subway systems. From there, it's up to the platform and onto the train. People relax or work in airline-style seats. There's power and Wi-Fi and lots of overhead storage. It's easier than getting on the plane or driving. It was pretty great. It was like a first-class airplane ride. <laughs> now imagine the same scene here in rural Texas. The plan is already in the works. And now we're in the development phase, making the dream a reality. The train would link Dallas and Houston with a stop in Grimes County to serve the College Station area. Much of the path would follow utility lines. Trains would leave every half hour, and they'd run seven days a week. But some people want to slam the brakes on the plan. I truly believe that this project is not good for Texas. Kyle Workman is the president of Texans Against High Speed Rail. He lives in Leon County. Workman fears that Texas Central will use eminent domain to take private property for the project. There's not enough money in the world for some of these people. It's priceless property for them. The top official in Leon County has big questions about the project, too. This would bisect those. Judge Ben Lamont, who is also with Texas Against High Speed Rail, says the train would race right down the middle of his county. It would create a huge barrier uh, that would prevent uh, access across this rail. Texas Central is promising plenty of places to cross under the tracks for both animals and people. Not only will we commit to provide access to landowners, but it's our responsibility. And then there's the issue of peace and quiet for Texans who treasure the countryside. A high-speed train does make a lot of noise. The debate is over how much noise is acceptable. State lawmakers may ultimately decide if this train arrives in Texas. This is such a transformational opportunity for Texas. It's the type of transformation and how it might happen that has Texans taking sides over the train from Japan.